I'm making this video because I'm trying to figure out what the hell is, is said to be not hate speech. See, look, I've talked about various subjects, man, throughout my whole time on YouTube. And I find it to be very, um, uh, very ironic that the only time I, time I ever get flat the hell off if I talk about anything about white women. See, I talk about group people out there, man. Asians, Africans, Black Americans, Black women, Black men, everybody, right? Everybody out there, right? But all the time I get flat the hell off, it wants about white women. What is it about white women that makes them so damn sacred to people, man? Because why are they off limits to people all the time, man? Because YouTube needs to overhaul their whole system of system of flagging, period, for real. Because you all know damn well people have have the right to express their opinions, man, and freedom of speech. So why is it? That everything is all good with people and take about white women, man. I talk about white men, everything else, man. White people, everybody, man. White women is a damn problem every damn time, man. And, and thing about it is that why is it people can never talk about how much they don't like white women or whatever without like people get mad about it, man? Look, you have channels up right now that's in hate stuff about blacks. I don't care what them channels. Why? Why bother about them? It's their opinions anyway. I don't watch their stuff, man, to see what they think. But every time I make a video about white women, they get mad every damn time, man. And it's not right, man. It's, it's, it's not right, period, man. You know, so they ain't off limits to people's criticisms, man. No one is, man. Not black men or anybody, man. I'm a video about everything. And it's, it's all good and tell me if it's about them. I'm getting tired of being flagged off about this about white women, man. I'm tired of it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, um, we need to find a way with YouTube. To, to, to actually establish what the hell hate speech is, man. Because where in the hell that's anything about hating white women or whatever. I ain't hate speech. I ain't saying about hating white women or anything like that. There was nothing about hate in my damn video. So what the hell is hate speech? The thing about it is that why well, I said about black men wasn't racist. How can I be racist when I'm black my damn self? I'm a black my I'm black my damn self. So how can I can be racist, man? Y'all just messing up, man. Either take that fight off my damn account or something, man. Because y'all messing up, man. It was not hate speech. Watch the video again. It wasn't hate speech. It's my opinion about white women. Like I said, ape man to me is damn racist, man. I said they like dog men because they might apes. But look, what I'm saying is that what is it about white women that every time I make a video, they always gotta get pissed off about it? You ain't gonna watch my videos with white women at all, man. I'm a black man who y'all probably don't think even speak that damn well. So what does it make a difference to you? What difference does it make to you, man? I'm trying to figure out, man. Period, man. That's what I say about that. You know, have y'all noticed there's a bunch of trolls out here? Here it is. For for a while that I've been focusing directly on the black community things that we need to do as people but no i've noticed um uh, comments will pop up or people will vote down on videos that have nothing to do do with white people but they they go to certain channels and they talk talking about oh why you don't support ron paul he's a great person why don't you like white people what do we do to you why do you always talk about black issues why are you always defending the black community and i'm saying right there i said this is the problem y'all cannot white folks cannot help or let me say this, white folks hate it when blacks don't focus their attention on them. You know, the best way I can describe it is white kids are like those bullies in the classroom. For years or a school year, they bully on a kid that's quiet or maybe a little different or may not, or may not be the most popular. And they do it for a whole year. Or they might do it all through the school, 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 the elementary school years. And they even do it when they get to high school. But at one summer, that kid that they picked on, or kids might go home, go over the summer, might grow an inch or two, or might develop and take on different characteristics that they normally had the prior school year. Now they won't. They 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 envious them really, but they want. But they know they 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 may not get the same reaction, so they want to include them in a little click. And that's what's happened to some of our people. The white kids that picked on you, they they envious of you. So they want to hang around you. They want to pick your brain. And then when you're not around, they want to say, oh, I can't stand that nigga. That's happened to me before where I I, I, I was in the army. And this white guy, I'm not going to say his name, but he, he probably know if he see this video, he'll know what I'm talking about. When we was in basic training, he was a nerd. Even white people didn't want to hang around, but he figured, well, the black community is always open. 
He used to hang around me all the time, all the time. When they used to pick on, I used to take up for him because I don't like to see any human being get picked on. But guess what? I should have known better. I was walking. My sergeant had me run an errand. So the guys at the motor pool. So I'm walking. And at the motor pool, you had your Humvees line up on the line. Because we had to check the oil, check the tire pressures, make sure the wipers and all this stuff. These kind of things are different tasks. Make sure it's cleaned out. Make sure you had the security, your first aid kits and everything ready when you go out and do uh, I look, um, maneuvers out in the field. You know, on post. You go out in the woods and shit and all that stuff. Prepare us like when we go into Iraq. And I was walking up on this guy, this supposed to be, white guy supposed to have been down with me. Talked to another white guy. I said, I can't stand that nigga. Uh, they talk about he's about to get promoted. I hope he don't get promoted. I can't stand no black man being over me. He think I'm his friend. I said, oh, really? He, his face, he's shocked. The, the other guy, white guy walked away. He, I was just joking, man. I was like, no, you said what you said. And that's what they doing now. See, I'm, I don't sit here and want to be their friend. I'm not saying all are racist, but they, they can't hate They hate the fact that I'm not up there like, hmm, I'm so in love with white folks. They hate that. They hate the fact that I'm telling black men, black women, black children to have to take pride in themselves, think for themselves, quit looking for people to validate you. They come on black thing channels and they get in the conversation. They get pissed off. If you don't give a fuck about us, why are you coming to our channels? I'm not going out to seek out white people, but they come out of channel because they, they're obsessed with what we think and what we do. They, they hate the fact that there are black people out there who don't jump when they say jump. See, for, for too long, we've, we had people have done that, and there's still people do that. And when brothers and sisters don't like that, they, they want to want to figure out, they want to know why you, you feel this way. Look, like I said in all my videos, and I'm saying this one, I don't think all white people are racist, but I don't want to be around them. Okay. Now, people say, oh, my gosh, what about the white people you do know? No, no, no. Business-wise, I understand I got to deal with that. But as far as just socializing with them and just out there just hang on, no, nah, I prefer not to. Because at some point, they're going to say or do something. It's going to trigger true colors. If you, don't, if you think I'm exaggerating, I want brothers and sisters, even those so-called black, black brothers and sisters to the so-called so -called handkerchief head or whomever, I want y'all I want y'all to sit back. And really look at different videos. I want you to type in, not to just type in white racism, man. It's, just type in white racism on YouTube or talk about racism. And you're going to see a lot of videos of white folk. But at the same time, you, you'll see a Farrakhan video come up. And I want you to go back and listen to the Farrakhan video, not the edited version, but the video in whole. And listen to what he said. And listen to how the white folks talk about you. Listen how the Asian folks, look how the so called Mexican talk about you. And I want you to tell me who's being truly racist. See, brothers and sisters, y'all see this shit right in front of y'all every day, but in y'all mind, y'all say, I'm hoping that everything my mother and father, my grandparents told me, if I just pray that they one day would snap out of it. It's been 500 years, they still ain't snapped out of it. Here it is, those Cuban girls made that 15 minute rant. They didn't mean it in, j in joking, they meant it. Those two white girls made fun of black women, if you're going world hip hop, what's the world style hip hop? What about the, the, uh, the Asian girl? What about these Mexicans that got on here and blasted uh, Cat Williams, but blacks is defending them. They ain't came out in no droves defending us. I don't see no Mexicans calling out their fellow Mexicans about bringing their drugs and weapons in our community. Or, or Puerto Ricans and them talking about why y'all y'all just as dark as us. Y'all are people, but you seem to want to come in and want to attack us and join the Mexicans to bogart us out of the way. But see, people think I've been right about everything. I, I, I guess I haven't got to toot my horn. I've been on point about everything so far. There have been brothers and sisters out here that argued me down. Oh, man, you don't know the fuck you're talking about. And I didn't, and I didn't ban them. Because I knew at some point something's going to happen. They was going to come back and they need to eat crow. Man, Harvey, you was, you was on point, man. I couldn't believe it. I, I just didn't want to see it. You knew it. But in your heart of hearts, you want to hope that the black man is feeding you misinformation. Think about it. Think about all the black men that stood up and spoke truth to power, how the media and people did them. Reverend Wright gave a sermon in 2001 about 9-11 because he saw what was about to go down. What happened? People got angry. Oh, man, Reverend Wright, you're anti-American. How, how, how dare you say that? Yes, the chickens came home. How are you going to go drop bombs on people, start wars with people? How are you going to inject diseases in people, do experiments on people? Kick people out of their homes and don't think that wasn't going to come back on us. 
Look what Israel's doing. They, they trying to pick a fight with Iran. They so confident that America is going to go in. America choose. I'm going to tell y'all something. I got money because these wars have cost cost a lot of American soldiers their lives and their families, their lives and all kinds of shit. They watch them do a draft. You, you, you ain't no way in the world. This is why it, uh, Iran, these countries are ratcheting up their nuclear power because we do and say shit and we get arrogant. And see, white folks ain't been put in their place. It's going to come a time they're going to be put in their place. But the thing is, people are going to go through us or make us expendable to get to them. I'm warning y'all. I'm telling y'all right now. These trolls are coming on here because they, they want to keep shit going. That's what they do. They sit back. They type on their, laptops, on their laptops and desktops and they send shit out. And they instigate. A lot of these people go. A lot of these trolls will, will, will pretend like they're black and go on white websites, racist websites, and just star shit. A lot of these shows pretend like they're black women or black men just to get us arguing with each other. I tell people, let's read the words. Read them carefully. Go to their channel. A lot of them don't even have channel. They just put comments up. And YouTube allows it. Or go to their channel. Look at the date they've been on YouTube. A lot of them haven't had activity for a year, a month. Because they, cause they, what they do is they purposely go out and look out looking for a certain video. They look for a certain person. They figure, I'm going to go argue. Like some people, they come to my channel and want to get personal. They don't hurt me. That's being childish. If you ain't got nothing good to say, you make fun of people, call people names. Or you make threats. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all keep making these threats. Don't realize there are laws out here. You can get prosecuted for this shit. But at the same time, y'all keep assuming because we're black that we don't have anybody in our community or know anybody in law enforcement who got the technical know-how to trace what you, what, what you, where you, where you, where you live and stuff. See, I ain't afraid of you. Cause see, I know how to handle myself, and I keep trying to tell you, motherfuckers, I am a war vet. I was in the military. I was trained to do harm to people. Do you really want to fuck with the guy with the military training? Really? See, that's what y'all fear. See, y'all fear that I might reach somebody and y'all feel, oh, God, that nigga's talking. Oh, my gosh. What are we going to do? You say you don't give a fuck about us. You look down at us, but yet here you are on black websites, black YouTube channels. Y'all say y'all hate our guts, but y'all yet y'all always trying to fuck a black man or a black woman. I ain't talking about fuck over. I'm talking about actually fuck. You, you see how I mean racist motherfuckers I came in contact with. I always talk about, man, that black woman, I'll fuck her. How many racist white women I came in contact with that wanted, wanted me to fuck them? And when I didn't, oh, man, we got I, we got to get rid of Harvey. He think he's he's an uppity nigger. But you motherfucking trolls, y'all go to black websites, and y'all y'all hate it when we ain't kissing your ass. Y'all hate it when we ain't thinking about you. It is. I'm making videos direct towards my people. You y'all voting down, making threats. You ain't hurt me. I'm just gonna block you. And I'm not gonna erase your comments. But some of y'all got so slick, y'all leave a comment and then erase it. He want nobody to know. You, you, when you when you do that, you're telling people you said and done something wrong. And now I have more respect for you. You say you had a you had an image of yourself and you put a video up saying what you were saying. But you won't do because you're afraid that some black man might be watching you or a black woman might be watching you. That's why them girls went and hide. Y'all thought black folk don't have access to the internet? Y'all don't, don't think that we don't talk? That's why I tell brothers and sisters, every time you see a video like that or somebody saying something, or you go back, study, find where they live at. Yeah, I'm advocating that. And you step up to them and say, say it now. Watch them shit their pants. I didn't have white guys talk all kinds of shit, shit to me. And then when I got, when I walked up, they thought I was going back. I said, say it now. They, oh, there you go. You want to fight? You think you bad? Now, they good when they in the group of people. They good when they got out by their desk, their desktop or laptop. I mean, they want to call out your name. They want to threaten your life. I mean, come on. Like I said, do you really want to fuck with the man with the military training? See, I'll make your ass disappear. I have no problem doing taking you out of this out of this plane of existence. All they're gonna do is up my fucking medicine. <laughs> y'all don't realize, y'all don't realize that there are black men like and black women like myself who ain't afraid of white folk. We ain't gonna bow down to y'all. See, y'all been conditioned from little boys and little girls that blacks they look up to you. They they beneath you. It is y'all come to black channels because y'all deep down, y'all wants to love you. 
And when we don't show you no love, y'all can't hate that. Y'all want to be loved. Y'all want people to worship you. Well, you got the wrong person. So go ahead, Charles. Keep on doing it. You prove me right. Every time y'all say something and do something, y'all prove me right. And all y'all doing is helping me get my message out. See, y'all so fucking dumb. Just like we tell, like the terrorists in Iraq. Okay, if you're not, if you don't want people to think you're violent, lay down your weapons. Cause eventually they're gonna have to leave at some point, right? If y'all had any sense, y'all would even come in and say anything. But see, but y'all can't help. It. It's in y'all nature. Y'all gotta say something. So all y'all doing is making what me and so many other brothers and sisters say true. Y'all proving us right. Y'all want to question our intelligence. You ain't y'all ain't smarter than me. How you motherfuckers living living in trailer parks or living with your mama and daddy? I got my own shit. I can buy and buy whatever the hell I want. Because I worked, I earned for it. I earned it, excuse me. Y'all, first thing I say, black folk look for handout. I ain't never said I wanted a handout. Y'all don't want to work. Who said I ain't working? I own shit. But see, you motherfuckers think y'all y'all think that y'all better y'all better than us. Y'all hate the fact that black there's a group of black men black when they ain't jumping when y'all say jump. Boy, y'all pathetic. Y'all really pathetic. Y'all hate that. Y'all want people to jump when you say jump. I'm letting y'all know. Y'all gonna keep fucking with the wrong persons, and they gonna deal. They gonna deal with y'all. In the name of my ancestors, peace, fam, and always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I'm your host, your brother, and hopefully your friend, the mighty, mighty, mighty Angus Snub Nub <laughs> Uh, your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. I just want to send this message to these cowards who wish to come upon other persons' uh, channels, being disrespectful and rude and just plain ignorant. When you go to their pages, they have no videos, but they have so much to say, and come to other people's pages looking for entertainment. I want to tell you, you coward. First of all, you can call me anytime. My telephone number is public. And when you call me, don't block your ID out. With your scared ass. I'm not here to play games with little children. I'm here to bring a message to black people. To help us as individuals in our understanding of our struggle in this nation. As well as we as a people. I don't have time for your childish games. So last night. Right before I was getting ready to retire, two, not one, two idiots pretending to be homosexual Hebrew Israelites come on my page with their foolishness and their nonsense. And they thought I was going to block them. They thought I was going to cuss back and forth and play some childish game with them. You are barking up the wrong tree. I'm not going to block nobody. Matter of fact, I'm hoping for the first victim to make a video to show an example and make a, an example out of one of y'all faceless trolls. Here's a message to the cowardly, to the scary, to y'all back hiding behind a picture. This one is for you. Because clearly you are ignorant. I'm the wrong one to play with. Don't you know? Once I tell you, once anybody tell you, you are not wanted on their page. Then you should leave. Once you decide you don't want to leave, then you have broken the law. You can be charged with so 
cyber bullying. They don't play with cyber bullying in the state of Missouri. And once you cross state lines, you committed a felony, a federal crime. You can be charged with federal stalking and harassment. So I want you to come bother me. Because I want to get you all tangled up. And I bet you all that laughing and giggling that you do, it'll be the last laugh and giggle. Do a Google search on Brother Talik even wrong. I know how to go to the court. I know how to go to law enforcement. I'm going to bring your ass down. Then I'm going to make a video about your right ass. And we're going to see what your face for the first time. <laughs> bring it. I'm not going to block you. You'll be charged with a criminal. Cyberbullying. Harassment. Stalking. Then I'm going to get you a second time because once I know who you are, because the law enforcement is going to tell me who you are because I'm a victim now. You're the criminal. Then I'm going to file a lawsuit on your ass. Do a Google search on me. And you see how I love to file lawsuits. You think it's funny. Go play with those who like to play like that. You mess with me. I'm bringing your ass down. It's simple as that. I'm not going to block you. Well, YouTube says the only thing you can... I don't give a damn about what YouTube talking about. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to your happy, cowardly, faceless ass. You don't have nothing to bring to the conversation. You have nothing to say. Then stay the hell off my page. If I invite you, if I engage with you, that's different. But don't bring that foolishness, that ignorant crap to my page. Because you are violating the law. And I'm going to show you. I need somebody come on. Be the first example. Because you really think people be playing with your ass. I'm not playing with you. I'm the wrong one to play with. Go to Sesame Street page. Go to some porn page. Go to where they shake their booty or something. You're not going to bring that here. You can flag my videos. I'm used to that. That's the only thing you can do, silly. And I've been able to fight that off. Got five active channels. Y'all ain't flagged off not one of them yet. Bring, bring it. Bring it, children. So this is the last one. And I'm waiting for the one who's stupid enough and arrogant enough to believe this is a joke. You think this is a joke, don't you? Well, try me. Go ahead and try me. I will give you a warning. And once you get that warning, I'm going to save all your comments and everything that you do will be used against you in a court of law and you will be prosecuted to the full extent of that law. Now think it's a game. Bring, bring your ass up. I guess those homosexual Hebrew Israelites, whatever they're supposed to be, they got angry and took off. Try me, any of y'all. This ain't no game. You will be charged with cyberbullying in the state of Missouri, and you will be charged in federal court with stalking and harassment. You will go to trial. You will be charged with a crime. And I will sue you. And I will take your money. You will pay me for your silly comments. Come on. I'm waiting to get paid. This your brother. You got to talk. Hey, y'all. You got to talk tough to these idiots. Because they think this is a game. They think this is a joke. Not with me. Go somewhere else with that foolishness. But when you come here and you face reality, it's a whole different ball game. I'm not your boy. I'm not your toy that you play with. I don't give a damn about what you two talking about. You will get charged with a crime here. I'm waiting for the first one who want to cross that line. Is it you? Bring it. Come on. I'm waiting on you. This is your brother Talik Ibn Rock. Have 
to get robbed. This was and is, brothers and sisters. Ain't y'all tired of these old faceless trolls? I know I am sick of them. Sick to death. Don't have no videos. Hiding behind. Hiding behind a picture. Coward ass. Scary. That's because you shame. You shame on yourself. So just because you shame on yourself, don't play with me. Because you don't have no gut. Stand up and be a man. Call me on the phone. And I'm still going to get you. And you block your ID. You can block your ID if you want to. The police, law enforcement, everybody that, that, that knows these things, that don't mean nothing. They don't know who called with your cyber bullying, your harassment and stalking. Oh, I was so scared. I played a victim role to what it was. Oh, they scared me. I was terrified. You think it's a game? Bring it. Bring it. This is your brother Talik even rock. Sick of these idiots. You're going to stay on my page. I'm not going to block nobody. <laughs> this is your brother Talik even rock. Thank you for listening. This was and is the Reality Temple on Earth. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Y'all going to give me a thumbs I'm making this video. This video is just to YouTube. YouTube really needs to overhaul their policies because the flag system is is very is very problematic. The flagging system is a three strike system where if you get flagged three times, your ass is gone. YouTube needs to overhaul that big time and, and be at least five strikes because the flag system is too harsh on people for their opinions. I made a video about white women. But the video was about white women's perceptions of black men. In the video, there was no, no, there was no cursing at all in the video. And all people to get offended are the men who want white women or white women themselves. The problem with them, is, with, with them is this. You all don't know what's going on. I wasn't trying to diss dark-skinned black men. I don't have a problem with dark skin at all. It's about white women's perceptions of them. Why do they want the, the dark of, of the dark of black men? Because they view other black men as regular, meaning regular turns them off. See, white people have a fetish problem with, with black folks. And the problem is that they see black folks as somebody to sleep with but not to be with. Anybody who disputes that has a problem because it is indeed true. If that was the case, then why are white women, black men marriages so small as well as black women, white men marriages so small, but the sex between the two is unbelievable, uh, off the charts. Meaning, it's happening a whole lot. Because it's a fascism going on between both races that they can't seem to stop without segregation. Now look, I'm not going to keep making videos about this stuff because I'm tired of being flat off for it. But I want to say, YouTube needs to, needs to overhaul their flagging system because it is, it, is, it, is, it is just deficient. Three strikes is just two little strikes to flag somebody off on. Make it five or better seven. Because people are losing their accounts because of it and losing their assets accounts as well. Please overhaul the system so people won't get fed up off, off every little video that they make. And people need to stop being so offended by it. People's pens are, are their pens only. You, you don't have to watch the videos, period. I also say about that. In the name of my ancestors, <sighs> peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Of course, I'm the host of this program, known here on YouTube, Daily Motion, Vimeo, MySpace, and make sure that you friend me, send me a friend request on my Facebook page. You can find it under Angel Snub Nub 7, under the name Sheshore Tenobeta. I am the mighty, mighty, mighty mm, Angel Snub Nub 7, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. Almost on all my videos, 
I always and I have to give respect and honor to my ancestors. And as a descendant of slave born in America, many persons may view the ancestors in their own way. I feel as though I represent the most real and the most logical version of how an oppressed people would feel and if they could speak in 2012, if they could talk in 2012. There is no way, there is no way that they would come to us and tell me to go before the world and say they love their enemies. Not when they knew or when they found out that they were brainwashed and made to love their oppressor. Now, when I say in the name of my ancestors, all of my ancestors were not too bright. They were a destroyed people. But those who were able to break the slave mentality and see, that's what white America, racist Caucasian America is afraid of, the breaking of the slave mentality. You want them to be like those who were content on the plantation rather than those who decided I need to run away. But you want to know something? Many of them who stayed on the plantation, a lot of them did not like you. They just was in fear. Trying to stay alive. Like many black folks right now, they won't open their mouth. A lot of your sunbows and handkerchief heads, many of them really don't like you, but they have just accepted, I'm, on sla I'm a slave, and I'm going to die a slave. So I got to make the best of a, of a bad situation. I need to survive. And they are willing to pass down that cowardly behavior down to our future generations. But now the time has come where the buck stops here. We have to stop being afraid. And I've told you many a time, me personally, I'm a little sissy. But you have all these folks running around talking about, oh, he's a vicious racist. And he's doing this and he's like, filled with hate. I'm filled with hate because I want to be free. I stand for my people. And I stand and speak for those who can't speak for themselves. Those who have been gone for 400 years, they did not love this nation. Brought here against their will. But you don't want to hear their voice. Because you want us to believe this fantasy. So, false flagging me brings me joy. It brings me joy. It brings me happiness. Like a brother... J.T. Riley Warren says all the time, feed my sickness. False flagging. Stalking me. Harassing me. The only thing you're doing is feeding my sickness. You give me the energy to keep moving on. Because now I know I'm on the right path. When you stop, then I got to worry. What am I doing wrong? Have I given up too much? And I submit down too much. The oppressor always hate his victim. I've never seen a rapist. I've never seen a murderer. I've never seen a thief love their victim. They always have to do something to make the victim look like the one who is the troublemaker. Feed my sickness. Give me my energy. 
so I can keep moving on. I don't want to be comfortable in this life. I don't want to make your sambos comfortable. I don't want to make your handkerchief head Negroes comfortable. I don't want to make these descendants of slaves in America. I don't want them comfortable in this madness. It's time for them to leave and get out of this boat of hellfire. It's never easy for freedom fighters. One of the greatest examples for you Christians is Jesus. Was life easy for Jesus? No, it was not. He had a government upon his shoulders and you cry for Jesus and you foam at the mouth for Jesus because of, not because he was treated nice, because of the oppression Jesus faced. Trying to bring truth. You cry and you honor Dr. King. Not because he was treated nice. Because he faced oppression. Injustice. Inequality. And you do the same for Malcolm and Marcus and not Turner. You praise them and you honor them. Because they had the nerve to stand up against oppression, injustice, inequality. You could care less for those who are content. So when... You false flag angel snuff number seven. That's part of the things that I have to go through being like them. A freedom fighter. One who is standing up against oppression. The exposure of lies and deceit. Every time you lie, I'm there to uncover your lie. Every time you deceive, I'm there to point it out. You are a trickster. And here you are, so brave. You're so powerful, but words hurt you. But you have a little saying talking about sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Oh, yes, they do. If they are the right words. You gave the slave words. You gave the slave the words describing a white Jesus. And they are still, after 2,000 years, everybody's still looking for this white Jesus that have not shown. That was nothing but a word. And they said that the word and God are the same. You are the God that gave us these words. But another source has come on the scene. Slowly but surely, it's rising in the people. Whether you like it or not. And you can false flag. And you can get upset all you want to. It makes no difference. Whether I'm living or dead. The time has arrived. That these who are the descendants of slaves in America. They are to be finally free. Or all this. That you call human. Is going down in the dumps. You. All the humanity. Has not shown. Being worthy. Of life. You are fit to be destroyed. But. Those. Who have been victimized. Those whose hands was guided to evil. By somebody else. Those whose hearts have shown have. Have. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? But they have not uh, shed the blood of nobody, harmed nobody, except their hands guided by their slave master. These who are innocent, these who are innocent, the, the descendants of slaves born in America. It is your time, black man and woman. That's what they upset are about. Because a word caused you to be put in the condition that you're in mentally. Although the chains are gone, you are still thinking like a slave. But when the right words come to you, 
to take those chains off. Some of you believe that you don't have no chains on your mind, but you do. Because if you didn't have these chains, why are you still bound? Why are you still shackled? How come you're not moving like a free person should? How come you're not even talking? you just quoting some scripture. You keep quoting the Bible and the Quran, but you can't apply nothing. You can't move forward. You keep talking about the past. What so-and-so did in the past? Talking about history, but you're not making history. So feed my sickness. Feed it so I don't get comfortable in your in this world. And all that I am, I bring and speak for my ancestors who can no longer speak for themselves because they know there's no way in the universe that they would love these, this land that terrorized them for hundreds of years. So don't bring me that garbage. But if you give them justice, if you bring and give their babies justice, maybe they will forgive you. Otherwise, it don't look good. It don't look good for you. You're not going to have a bright future. The freedom fighters was harassed, tortured, made mockery of, placed in jails, and murdered. Am I any better? False flagging, being false flagged is easy stuff. I want, just make me fight, give me the energy. When I speak and say, I'm not speaking for myself. I'm a vessel used by the tortured souls of those long gone. They cry for justice. And they want better for their babies. Better for their babies is not this condition that we continue to live here in the United States of America. That's not a better condition. And all this fantasy stuff, multi multiculturalism, diversity, that's not us. We want our own. We want our life back. Control our own destiny. We can work with others. We can share with others. But we have to be ourselves. We have become an unnatural people. Somebody's pet. Somebody's slave. These are the chains that we must break. And that's what you fear. Because once the black man... This so-called, the descendants of slaves born in America, once they break these metal shackles, will become the greatest human beings that have ever been produced. And they, and these who are oppressors already know that. That's why so many people around the earth are jealous of the slaves because even under oppression, look how great, look at the things that we do and we accomplish under oppression. Can you imagine what the descendants of slaves can do once we get out of oppression and get this mental shackles off our mind. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. So keep false flagging. Keep harassing me. I love it. Because many have gone before me so I can exist. And I'm going to continue to move on to help those who come after me. Jot down your comments. Or flag the video. This wasn't his. <laughs> Reality's temple on earth. <laughs> People on YouTube. Sit. I want to show us. <clears throat> See, somebody told me that you can't sue Google and win. Somebody done told you wrong, huh? <laughs> Somebody done told him wrong. Stop it! Stop it. <laughs> Somebody done told you wrong, huh? I want to show us. 
See, somebody told me that you can't sue Google and win. They are a big, large corporation and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm going to repeat the famous words of Martin Lawrence. Well, somebody done told you wrong. <laughs> if this is the edited version of the video, I'm going to slide that in there. <laughs> somebody done told you wrong. This is the second time that I tried suing Google. Second time. Here is the, I don't know if you can see it or not. Try to hold it up to the camera. This is the, that's the first time I tried to sue Google. I served them by certified letter. I don't know if you can see that good or not. Okay. This is the uh, receipt. The second time I tried to sue Google. Can you see that? Okay. I don't know if you can see that pretty good, but the same person Susan Gwynn or Gawain or something like that. She's the one that accepted the uh, certified letter. This is the envelope. Okay, you want to see that? That's the court. Okay, that's the court. This is in... in uh, in uh, Illinois, they make it very easy, very easy to follow small claims. Okay, here we go. Talik even, let me see if I can get that out the way now. See that? Small claim, let me see, did I get that up there? In the Circuit Court, Judicial St. Clair County, State of Illinois, versus Google, Google, okay, it's filed in St. Clair County, y'all see that, okay, $5,000, that's what I'm suing them for, $5,000, go this way, okay, can you see that? And I, I'm telling them, the court, that Google and violated my rights, making false claims of um, hate speech, civil rights uh, violation. Okay. Now this is the this is the judgment. This is a copy. It's not very clear, but I'm going to try to get it close to the camera so that you can see. Okay. St. Clair County. See that? Talik Ibn Ra versus Google. That's the court stamp right there. And what we really want to read is here on the bottom. Let's see if I can try to get the best, the best, uh, cause is set for a hearing October the 8th to talk about the damages. And that's it. 